to imply there is a connection between the virus and the Chinese nationality or race is wrong and insensitive at a time when people are dying an enormous sacrifice is being made. In France, a publication ran with the headline Yellow Alert alongside a picture of a woman wearing a mask. On the cover of the latest version of the German magazine Der Spiegel, it reads coronavirus made in China when globalization becomes a deadly danger. I've been told in these societies people are in general well-educated and respectful towards others, but such headlines really call that into doubt. Could the publishers have been serious? Now here comes the champion of all titles, that of a piece published in the Wall Street Journal on Monday, which reads, China is the real sick man of Asia. Now the H1N1 flu pandemic, which broke out in the U.S. in 2009, caused some 18,400 deaths worldwide. Did anybody write about the real sick man of North America? The title shows a complete lack of sympathy, even humanity for China, from the writer or whoever decided to put that in print in what is turning into one of its darkest hours in China's recent history. As China and the world continue to fight this virus, let us not point fingers, attack our fellow citizens or spread fear and hate. Let us unite in the face of common adversity. Fight the best fight we can and move forward to a healthier and brighter future.